What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to create a Word document and then edit the text in the document. So like changing the font, the color, um, whether it's bold, italicized, underlined. Um, so let's get right into it. Alright, so let's call this sub change font. And we'll declare our variables. We'll have our word object and then our object doc. We're going to set object doc. No, sorry. We're going to set object word equal to create object and it's the word application that we want and then object doc is going to be object word dot documents add so now what we're going to do is create our own style of text and we're going to do that with object doc so we're gonna have a width within a, within a width so you'll see what I mean let me uh, make it through this so object doc styles add so we're gonna add a style and we'll call it um, my font style and then we're gonna have another width, so width dot styles. So it's a continuation of object doc, right? So we're just gonna do object dot styles add here, but then we're with the object with styles, we're gonna do my font style. font and our width and then our name let's go with Arial font the size let's do 12 um, bold yeah let's go ahead and make it bold so bold we'll set it to true underline we'll set that to true too italic why not let's do that let's set that to true as well and then the text color um let's figure that out so we can do RGB and then we can put in three different numbers so RGB stands for red green blue so 101 101 101 I have no idea what that color is going to be but we'll find out and we'll end our width here oh sorry we already we did that already okay oops So now we've got our style created. So with object word, and we'll end this with, we're going to do selection style. So we're selecting our style. It's going to be object doc dot selection, or sorry, dot styles and it's going to be my font style and then we want the word doc to be visible uh, so okay we want the, the word doc to be visible and we also 
want to activate it so that it appears up front and then um, selection type text so this is the text we're going to type we're going to just do hello and then we'll see how this turns out so let's go ahead and run this so something bad happened oh I spelled selection wrong so let's try it again alright okay there we go so there's our hello that's the color we got um, let's go ahead and change some of this stuff up and also let's reference a cell um, so then we got hello and we got there and then when it comes to the font let's pick some more colors here so if we go to custom maybe let's try this blue color um, let's see let's pick a color custom and then let's try this one so 31 174 225 okay so 31 174 225 all right and let's change the from arrow to, let's change it from aerial to impact let's make the size bigger let's go with 30 um, bold we'll do false keep the underline no let's take the underline off and we'll keep the uh, italic there alright and then now we've got hello and then let's go down so we're gonna do selection type paragraph and then we're gonna do selection type text and this time we're gonna reference this workbook sheets this is sheet one so and then cells it's gonna be this first cell here so cells one one and we want the text in that cell and this could the sheet could be named whatever so I will I'll put whatever in there and then change this to whatever all right so let's run it again and we see we got that cool blue and we've got hello that we put directly in here with the string and then we got there so hello there and there comes from this uh, Excel document and you see the text change the type um, the underline went away so yeah uh, that's all I got for today thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe have a good one